Oh, it was a rude awakening one morning for a triad family. Someone drove off the road and crashed into both of their cars, totaling them. That's right. State Highway Patrol had limited information to share about the suspect and insurance put the blame on the family. They waited weeks for answers, and when they couldn't get any, they gave two wants to know's Kevin Kennedy a call. Along Kennedy Road in Trinity, around 8 in the morning, Michelle Dickens is just waking up. And I was sitting on the side of the bed when I heard a big boom. I heard it seen a flash of light out the bedroom window over there. This winding road would become a crime scene. When I come around the corner from the bedroom, John was shooting out the door, hollering, no, he did not. John is her husband, a driver veering off the road and slamming into their cars. When I looked out the window, I was just in shock because the cars was, they were hit. Both of her cars totaled. They left the road, came down right through here, hit the Nissan that was parked there into the Chrysler that was parked here. The driver taking off, 911 call. He got down there on Cedarwood and parked the truck and got out and started walking. This story only getting stranger from here. North Carolina State Highway Patrol taking an initial report. Michelle filing a claim with her insurance. And the Chrysler was like 11,000 and he still owed a little over 11,000. And then the Nissan I had a little over a year, if that. I sold 14,000, they only gave me cash value of 8,000. A $500 deductible paid, an accident she didn't cause. The driver in the wind, the truck owner not questioned. It happened on Friday and on Monday they let the owner have it without the cops questioning him. Michelle sending us this email way back in 2021, six weeks after the crash, asking for help. We reach out to Highway Patrol. It was almost two months to the day that they came out. An investigation we helped start. Troopers later identifying this guy as the suspected driver. The truck owner saying he stole it. Troopers not buying it. In an email, they say there is no stolen vehicle report. Also confirming our call culminated with charges against the suspected driver. The bigger issue for Michelle, the insurance claim. The process delayed. Gap coverage finally paying the remaining balance of one of the cars, but her insurance rates went up. The company not providing details, sending us this email. We are not able to share information on this specific customer. And now they're going after the one that was driving it, and I haven't heard back anything. More than a year later, Michelle has heard nothing on that front. With our help, her insurance did, however, finally settle the claim. I had to do the legwork. I had to keep calling the, the dealerships to get them to fax over all the information because they want the contracts and all that. Michelle eventually yeah. buying two new cars and that $500 deductible was waived. It shouldn't have took me having to call somebody, you know, call somebody else. As for her insurance provider, she's now with the new company. In Trinity, Kevin Kennedy, two wants to know.